one of the sections in the book you talk about um I believe the person's name was Lunchbox. Lunch bucket. Lunch bucket. <laughs> lunch bucket. Right. Poor old well, lunch you know, bucket. Since we're talking about yeah. work environments, and there's that certain level of camaraderie, and you actually talk about the SEAL teams in here, yeah. where you just have this. It's like a non. And I've talked about this before. In the SEAL teams, it's nonstop, hyper, verbal, abuse, aggression. Around the clock, twenty four hours a day. You're in a SEAL platoon. Yeah. Like that's the that's life. Yeah. Any any mistake that you make, any any display of weakness is going to be especially contemptible upon and weakness. Ripped apart. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's going like, to be ripped apart. Yeah, yeah. And then if you get all irritated about that, it's oh. even worse, man. Then oh. you're just dead. The nicknames you, you talked about: Lunch Bucket. Your nickname was Howdy, Howdy Doody, Howdy, Howdy yeah, Doody, and then it got shortened with. to Howdy, which was yeah, was, which was you better. felt pretty good about. It was better, <laughs> yeah, because you went from Howdy Doody, which is kind of yeah, was so good. To Howdy, which is kind of cool, right? Yeah. As a Western guy, yeah, whatever. Yeah, right, right, right. But, but the nicknames that 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 are in the SEAL teams, like I can't with good conscience repeat them. <laughs> I'm sure that's because true because they're just they're just horrible, yeah, horrible yeah, names. Yeah, yeah. But there's a camaraderie around that, and there's also the as I was reading what you had written about these guys working on a railway railway crew, yeah. There's a test. It's a test. Yeah, yeah. It's a test to see where you're at, That's what right. you're made of. That's right. Can, can we rely it? on can, you? Can, can you re, can you tolerate a little bit of irritation? If the answer to that is no, it's like, well, maybe we don't want you around then, because some irritating things are likely to come down the pipe. Yeah, and it's it's not just um, it, it, to me. To me, it proves if you've got someone that can take it, right? It's not just that they can take some random joking insults. Like they can. They can, can take it. They can take it. Yeah, that's what you're testing for. Yeah. It's like, can you take it? Lunch bucket couldn't, right? Because people would laugh at his lunch bucket and he'd get all upset. It's like, well, you have a stupid lunch bucket. It's like, you know, your mom packed it. How about it? you laugh at yourself? Yeah, my mom packed this. I know it's kind of stupid. That would have been the end of it. He would have just had to say that. Yeah. It's like, but I didn't want to hurt her feelings. It's like, oh, okay, you know, yeah. fine. You got your stupid lunch bucket. And, but no, he couldn't handle that. <laughs> You know, so yeah, it was it was horrible and comical to watch at the same time because the level of and people have written me about that and they said, oh, you know, poor lunch bucket. It's like because they're all compassionate. I think no, no, not poor lunch bucket. It's like, clue the hell in, buddy. You yeah. had your chance. You know, that was a desirable job, that rail crew job in the summer because it was high paying. You know, and it, they weren't easy to come by those jobs. And so the fact that he got hired onto that crew was a real opportunity for him. You could make a pile of money in the summer at working on the rail crew, and all you had to do was take some ribbing with good grace, not suck up to the management too badly, and not have other people do your job. That was all. That was all you had to do. But he couldn't do that, and so he got run off. And it was like, grow the hell up, buddy. You know, these guys, all, when 100 people are teasing you, then probably they're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when yeah. you are getting teased like that as well, well, when you when you when you stop reacting, it's no longer fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Well, it actually, also gives you an opportunity to tease back. It's like because yeah. you can show your wit. And one of the things that working class guys, in particular, which is what one of the things I really loved about working class jobs, is they're they're always looking for some humor. So it's like <laughs> if if person A is teasing person B, that's kind of comical. But if person B comes back with a good Zinger. comeback, it's like <laughs> that's even better, you know. So I think that's a lot of how those jobs are rendered tolerable, right? It's they're they're hard. Dirty jobs. Right. Dishwasher is a good example. That's not dangerous. Although cooking is, is you know, you got to watch your step. I got burned a lot when I was cooking. Um, but what makes those jobs not only tolerable but even desirable is that you can develop a tremendous amount of camaraderie around them. I've never really experienced that at a professional level job. That just doesn't happen the same way. And it's really, there's a real loss in that. So it's 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 fun to be part of a team that's doing, you know, grubby hands-on things and and having a ridiculously entertaining, vicious, cruel, and evil time while you're doing it. That's very entertaining. <laughs> the uh, this new kids book I wrote. So uh, the kid Mark, he's getting made fun of by this. He's a different kind of bully. He's like a mental bully mm -hmm. that that verbally abuses people, and he gets called plate face by this character. And to, and eventually he gets in trouble for throwing something at the kid because he's calling him plate face, plate face. But eventually, the way he 
befriends the kid is by mm-hmm. he they have to do a self portrait in class and he draws a picture of himself looking like a plate mm-hmm. and he shows it to the kid and the kid laughs and all of a sudden they're buddies and it's mm-hmm. like that's what you do you take away that you take away the joy of of being so heated <laughs> and irritated by people that are making fun of you and you just kill it right Jiu-jitsu there jiu jitsu in some sense yeah, well yeah. I had an experience with that about three years ago I put my videos up online and. People kept saying that I sounded like Kermit. And I thought, well, one person said it, and I thought, well, whatever. But then, like, five people said it, and I thought, oh, my God, like, this Kermit thing. So then I went and listened to Kermit, and I thought, oh, no. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, really, I really sound like Kermit, you know. And so then, well, then I started to play with it a little bit, you know. I used the puppet and mm-hmm. when, I, when, I, when I went to speak to university students, and I made frog jokes, and then I made a, vid- I made a couple of videos <laughs> That sort of featured me as a frog, and I mean it's crazy, right? It's ridiculous, but, but that's and but but the teasing never got mean because of that, you know. Yeah. And the same things happened online to a larger degree as people keep making memes of me, like and there's I don't know there's lots of them. There's way too many to even keep track of. And <laughs> I was watching that happen, and I thought, okay, this is a good thing because there's humor, and wherever there's humor, that's a good thing. And they're making fun of me, but it's gentle. You know, most of it was pokey, mm-hmm. you know, like, well, you sound like this damn puppet. What do you think of that? It's like, well, if I had to pick someone to sound like, it probably wouldn't be a puppet. But if it had to be a puppet, Kermit's not a bad one. It could be a lot worse. Like, it could be Miss Peggy. You know? It could have been that, you know, so thank God that didn't happen. But the memes have never got vicious because, you know, I'll post them if they're funny and satirical. And then they won't get vicious because they don't have to. It's like, can we poke fun at you? It's like, yeah, please do. And the more the better, really, because that'll also help keep my feet on the ground and keep me awake. And plus, it's funny. And like, one of the things about life is that a sense of humor, that's a good thing to, to arm yourself with, because sometimes you just don't have anything other than that.